Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach reporting live from the end of Texas. <laughs> Walmart and Whataburger are both closed. This shit is crazy. I can't believe it. So, um, down here, basically in Mexico, like three miles away, with no precipitation, with no snow, with no ice, with none in the past or on the way, we are like effectively completely shut down as a society. There's a couple of gas stations. Weirdly enough, like the crappier franchises are open, uh, but the good ones are closed. Um, so it's whatever. We got water, food, but it's really boring. <laughs> It's just super, super boring. Um, so I'm just driving around, staying warm in my car and powering up my phone. And I've got new comics to review, but I have to review them in the most freaking annoying way possible, which is to take screenshots and then put them on a, you know, a voiceover on a phone. Uh, usually if it's a, something like this, I just like it to be one image. Um, and, uh, or I do a screen capture and uh, it's very annoying. Uh, I just have to emphasize, like, there's nothing wrong down here. <laughs> it's 34 degrees. Yes, it's a little cold, um, but there's no reason for, like, societal collapse. Um, so I'm guessing there's going to be a bunch of class action lawsuits and investigations. Uh, you know, how, like, you can't just say, like, Texas doesn't get snow a lot. We don't have snow. This whole area is shut the hell down. I was gonna do a whole video about how like superheroes would be either be terrifying or emasculating. Like it's really cold, so I'm thinking about Iceman. It's like nobody wants to get rescued by Iceman. <laughs> it would be so uncomfortable. It's not because he's gay. It's because he's ice. Um, and then Human Torch. That would just be terrifying. You ever see the comics where he's like rescuing someone and like but he turns the fire off on his hands. He's like, don't worry, I'll turn the fire off on my hands. It's like, you're a burning man. Have you ever been like three feet away from a, you know, a, a campfire that's half the size of a man? It's, it's very uncomfortable, even a few feet away. Like, oh wow, your hand and your forearm aren't burning. And that's not even to get into how embarrassing it is just to be carried by a dude. Like, just drop me. Don't, don't even pick me up to drop me, just let me fall. I don't want to be carried by Superman. There's like no way for him to carry me that's not totally just emasculating. Uh, but I was like, I can't really get a whole video out of that. So what I will talk about is the idea, uh, I did a really downer video the other day and I deleted it because one of the things as a content producer, provider, whatever, is you have to provide stuff. You can't just say things suck and then just like ask people, are things gonna get better? Like nobody listens for that. They listen for you to say something. So as I would put it right now, in media, you know, just like in you know, government, different parties come into power and sometimes, you know, at least in America, like one party will be, have the presidency, one party will control Congress. So it's kind of balanced, but sometimes it's like right now where one party controls both. So they basically get to do with whatever they want. Um, so it's kind of like that right now in media, in comics and TV and movies. But I, you know, mainly speak about comics. So SJWs, you have control right now. That's not a downer, it's just, you know, admitting reality. You have control. You decide who gets hired, you decide who gets fired. If somebody creates a, 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 an app, a social media app you don't like, abracadabra. <laughs> grand opening, grand closing, parlor. Uh, so, so you're in charge. You're running things right now. Temporarily, you are in charge. And you haven't been fully in charge like you are right now. But for the last five years, it's kind of been, you know, one of those, you know, you hold either the presidency or Congress. So you've got a lot of power. So let's just say for the point of the argument that SJWs have been in power to varying degrees for six years. It's a pretty good length of time, more than half a decade. 
What do you have to show for it? Yeah, you've gotten a lot of... I always talk like uh, SJWs have turned the comic book industry into show and tell. But not just show and tell, like show and tell for like the dumb kid. You know, show and tell, I'm assuming they do that basically in, in all societies, right? It's like a kindergartner, first grade, second grade thing. You bring in like, you know, uh, whatever. Your dad went to Australia and he bought a boomerang. So you talk about that, whatever. Um, but <laughs> like SJWs have just turned it into like the laziest show and tell. They're like, I'm gay. My character's black and gay. Like, what is, is that? Is that it? That's showing. That's not. That, wow. I, you really parked right next to me in a Walmart parking lot with like 800 empty spots. How does that happen? We live in a society. That's what I'm talking about. Complete societal breakdown. Like, what the hell? Uh, so anyway, um, you've been in charge for, for years, SJWs. Now, you did turn comics into basically just show and tell. Oh, I'm gay. My character's gay. Okay, where do we go from there? So it's been six years, and there have been some good books, but not really good SJW books. So where's the SJW Daredevil Born Again? Where's the SJW New Warriors? Not, no, not the one from last year. I'm talking about, like, the old day. You know, good, you know baseline hit where's the you know the sjw dark phoenix saga where are all the sjw classics where is even that really good single issue where it's an sjw creator you know sjw themes and progressiveness and all that type of stuff where is it <laughs> i'm looking for it i'm looking for it in this empty walmart parking lot i look at a guy who he's literally looking like he wants to park near me stop so where is it? The best thing I can come up with is the initial run of Ms. Marvel uh, written by G. Willow Wilson. I've read a couple of issues from that run and it's actually solid. It's really a slice of life manga um, disguised as a superhero book. And it works quite well. Um, it's kind of charming in a meep uh, sort of way. Uh, but it works and that's it six years of failures absolute failures now you could liken this to something like uh, Tesla or the space program Tesla, I know Tesla, SpaceX they're not the same thing um, is that you just have like failure upon failure upon failure but then you start having slow progress you know, we're able to, uh, you know, get a, 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 some sort of airplane and you uh, you run it down a hill and then you catch flight and you go for, you know, 200 meters and then you go. And, and eventually you, you do farther and farther, successful launch, successful landing, and you progress. Um, but as far as I could tell, there's none of that. There was one that was kind of SJW in its promotion um, but not in its execution. When you read the first run of Ms. Marvel, it's it's not really SJW. It's just, you know, uh, all the advertisement was based on, you know, SJW. But it, like I said, it's it's fine. It's, it, and especially the art was very uh, charming. Besides that, there's nothing. The thing is, you can say like, oh, and it, like with Tesla. Tesla's stock was like flat for like a decade. And then they started making some progress, and then their stock started going up, and a bunch of other things. But sometimes it takes a while to develop. Um, but you've had more than half a decade, and all you had is one baseline hit. So, what you got? Do you got anything in the works? Is there any? You know, you, have you had a successful launch? Did you? No. There's 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 nothing. All you got is show and tell. I'm guy, and my character's guy in in black. He, he's a black fella. And he's gay. I'm really trying to do a, like an English accent, but this keeps turning out like just half-ass Australian. But anyway, um, let me know if I've missed any. Um, and what, what would I say is an SJW classic? Is It's a story that people talk about years later. Uh, something like Planet Hulk. 
people still bring up Planet Hulk. Like 15 years later, people love it. Or like a really, really good issue. Somebody was bringing up this issue of uh, Daredevil. Does anyone remember when Frank Miller came back for like just one issue? And it was John Buscema. And it was Daredevil dressed like a 1950s biker in like upstate New York. <laughs> Does anyone remember that one? That was a weird one. But it's a classic, you know. Most people who were collecting in that era, they can remember that. Even just like this weird, you know, almost kind of out of place. Uh, I was describing a, it, like, it's like there was a Daredevil TV show in the 1980s and this was one of the episodes. Like, that's what they would have done. There would have been no costume uh, or, you know, he's like, oh, he, he wears different disguises, <laughs> you know, because they were, remember like the Punisher movie where he just had like a knife with a skull on the hilt and that was it. But, um, Six years is enough to go, oh, you know, it's not working when we're doing it this way, but we're, we're going to build to this. And no, there, there, there's just nothing. There's nothing on the past. There's nothing on the present. There's nothing on the horizon. There's, there's no classics. There's no actual success stories. All there is is marketing and emotional blackmail and show and tell and hoping, hoping, hoping for a Netflix deal. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.